Alright guys, I'm back with my WWE Raw Review for the, uh, for the 14th of December 2014 and this was the Go Home Show for Battlegrounds and I didn't really feel excited for this Sunday's preview for uh, Battlegrounds because WWE on this show didn't really put much energy or emphasis uh, hard work for me to say into this map, into this, um, into this Go home show for Raw. It didn't get me a type of battleground. Uh, this last episode of Raw didn't get me a type of battleground, so I didn't really care about it too much. Also, before I start the video, I do want to give a quick shout out. Please subscribe to this guy's channel. And this guy's channel is Viper Strikes 38. Um, this guy is a really good YouTuber. He does Raw reviews. Um, he does um, movie reviews, video games. He's been telling me, he's been asking me to give him a shout out for um, for um, the last couple of days. So I said in one of my videos, I'll give him a shout out. So Viper Strikes, uh, please, um, I, if you're watching this video now, uh, so, uh, a shout out to you because um, you asked for a shout out. So please, guys, subscribe to Viper uh, Strikes. 38 and awesome wrestling fan. You need to know this guy. So yeah, uh, once again, subscribe to Viper Strikes 38. So, moving on to Raw, so we open up Raw this week with a segment, typical John Cena, he comes down, he's plugging the WWE Network constantly in his promo, then he eventually talks about his title match on Sunday, then Roman Reigns says, come on Cena, get to the damn point, then, um, uh, then, uh, Ambrose says, guy, uh, then Ambrose says that he has a match, then Ambrose says that he needs to be on the same page tonight because they've got a match against the authority, he says, Hashtag screw the authority. Then, um, Rollins, Orton, and Kane attack Dean Ambrose backstage. So that means Ambrose is out of the match. Another thing about this, why didn't Roman Reigns or John Cena not help Dean Ambrose? Like, he was getting attacked backstage and not one of those guys, uh, like, ran ran backstage and helped Dean Ambrose. Like, Dean Ambrose was getting attacked by three guys. At least Roman and uh, Cena could have helped Dean Ambrose, but whatever, I guess. Uh, then we get to the first match tonight, which was Miz versus Sheamus. If this wasn't actually even a match, like the match was kind of more, more like a warm up, I guess. But, but because I didn't even see the damn match, we had a graphic on the screen of the Intercontinental Title Battle Royal. Like, that's why we had the entire match. I think Miz won by roll up, and that was about it. It was a. It, it, was a, it wasn't a match, it was just there. So, yeah, Miz wins. Uh, it was an okay, I guess. Then we get a segment from Kane. Kane says he will become the next Dirty World Champion. Then Triple H says that the Dirty World Title needs to go back to the Authority. Then um, Orton tells Kane, have, have you got his back? And uh, Orton and Kane the entire night have this thing where they're not, uh, where it seems like they're not on the same page. But on Raw, on the main, uh, they have this thing, um, Kane and Orton the entire night where it looks like they're not on the same page and stuff. Which it kind of looks like they're probably going to break up the authority soon, maybe turn it on face again, which I don't really want to see, but whatever, I guess. Uh, then the second match now, which was Dolph versus Fandango. Uh, Summer Ray and Layla were dancing on the announce table, and distracted Fandango. Then Dolph wins with a uh, Fame Master for the win. It was a okay match. Uh, then we get a segment. Sandow is dressed as a Sonic, um, as a as a Sonic. Um, Worker, you know, um, is a, um, a fast food restaurant guy, whatever. So he's dressed up. He's dressed up as a Sonic worker. Um, so he's 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 got this burger in his hand. Then Adam Rose comes out. Um, then Adam Rose is backstage with Sandow. Um, he eats this um, Sonic burger. I've never had a Sonic burger. Um, one of these Sonic burgers, so I don't know how how, how good they are. But I've heard from like some YouTubers that say that they are very good than Sonic burgers. But um, next time I'm in the store, I'm gonna pick up a Sonic Burger to see how uh, um, how good they taste. But um, like I said, um, Adam Rose really needs a feud right now in the WWE. Like I I'm tired of him being just in backstage segments with guys like. I mean, he really does really need to be in a feud like Adam Rose does. Like I I don't know um, who he should feud with, but he really needs to be in a feud with Paulie. Uh, I guess he's probably in a feud with Sandow now. I don't really know, but I don't know. Uh, then, oh yeah, uh, then we get, uh, then the Usos come out, the, oh yeah, then we get the Usos come out, the, um, I think it was supposed to have a match, but the Whites attack the Usos, then we get to a segment which is, um, Rusa, which is the Lana and Zev Coulter segment, uh, it's them talking about the, the USA in Russia, um, uh, Lana talks about how, uh, the USA has got, uh, 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 Lana talks about how the USA is uh, lazy and they're stupid and stuff. 
then um, you got Z point over America and stuff and then um, uh, Swagger and uh, uh, Rusev Brawl then Swagger plus Rusev in the ankle lock I thought that um, that was a, um, a good counter into the ankle lock and I thought this was a, a good segment I enjoyed it uh, yeah really good segment uh, then we get to the uh, then we get to the um, uh, then we got to the third match tonight, which was RVD. The third match tonight, which was RVD versus a a um, ADR. Uh, this was a. This match was. Um, this was was a good match. I enjoyed it. RVD goes for Roll of Thunder. Then RVD tries to go for the five star power squash, but um, ADR moves out of the way. Then ADR um, puts RVD in the um, armbar. Then the, um, a uh, RVD taps out. So far, it's a good match. Uh, but you know I don't really care about these two guys. These two guys don't really have a feud right now. But I don't. I mean these two guys. I mean I. I don't really care about ADR anymore. And I don't. I mean RVD really needs to be in a feud. So there you go. Uh, then we get to the fourth match now, which was Nikki Bella versus Cameron and uh, and Alicia Fox in a, in a two on one handicap match. Um, Alicia wins with a sloppy. With a sloppy. Um, si uh, with a sloppy scissor kick. Uh, then we get a video, p and then we get a video package for Sting. Um, Sting is going to be in a Sting is going to be in WWE 2K15 as a pre-order bonus. Now, I, I every every single year I do get um, the pre-order bonuses. I have the last two years. The first year I think it was Mike Tyson. I got that one for WWE 13 and WWE 2K14. It was the Ultimate Warrior, so I did get a pre-order that last year. But this year I am definitely going to pre-order it. This year uh, we got uh, a badass. Um, Video package of Sting being in, uh, in WWE 2K15, which I thought was badass. It had his old theme song in there, which was his old WCW theme song, which was awesome. Like the fans really marked up for that. He got some great parts for that. Uh, so I'm really gonna get the Sting version with, with Sting being a pre-order bonus in WWE 2K15. I think they should have really had him on the cover of the game. But yeah, like I said, I know a lot of people wanted Sting to debut in, in WWE. Um, I'm raw this week, but I mean, he gave you it in a video game, so I mean, that's something good, isn't it? Uh, then we get to the, uh, then we get to Orton. Um, Orton says that, um, what did Orton say here? Orton says that, um, Orton says that Kane might not stick to plan, uh, to the plan. Then Triple H says that uh, he needs to win the world title on Sunday. Then we get to the fifth match tonight, which was Cesaro versus Big E. Um, Kofi was at ringside. Um, Cesaro throws chairs at Kofi. Then Kofi. Then Cesaro tries to hit a chair uh, at. Cesaro tries to hit a chair. Um, tries to attack Big E with a chair. Then Kofi gets the chair, and then Big E hits the big ending for the win. So it kind of looks like we're going to Big E and Cesaro feud. Um, I don't really know, but it kind of, that's a way of they're kind of going now with, uh, with these two. Uh, then we get a segment. We got Jericho talks about his, and then we get a segment Jericho and Bray Wyatt. Um, this was the fans were chanting boring. I didn't really. I thought uh, the Jericho and the Bray Wyatt promo segment was a real good segment. I enjoyed it. Jericho talks about his career highlights. Then Bray talks about how the Dirty Universe has changed since Jericho was last there, and uh, he talks about where has Jericho been since um, he's been facing guys like John Cena, Daniel Bryan, guys like that. <coughs> then um, uh, then uh, Bray hits his history Abigail on uh, Jericho on the ramp. I thought it was a I thought it was an okay segment. Uh, then we get AJ versus um, Eva Marie. Uh, the announcers do announce it's going to be AJ versus Paige for the Divas title at Battleground this Sunday. Um, AJ wins with the uh, Black Widow. Then Paige is on commentary. She talks about the match and stuff. Uh, then um, <coughs> uh, then we get. Uh, and then um, Kane tells Stephanie that uh, Kane tells Stephanie Triple H that he, he's not going to help Orton on Sunday. Uh, then Triple H tells him that uh, the Authority need a world title and stuff like that. Uh, then we get to the si oh yes yeah, I don't. Then we get to the seventh match out, the seventh match tonight which was Carly versus Bo Dallas. Uh, Bo wins with the Bulldog from the outside, so that means um, he wins by count out. I thought this, I thought it, I mean it was just a jobber match. I would really like to see like I said last week on my raw view, I'd like to see Boldas in a mid cut feud now because he's been on the roster since like June or May or something like that and he hasn't really had a feud, he's just been in jobber matches and I'd really like to see Boldas 
in a mid card feud because that's the guy that kind of pushing right now in the WWE and he really needs a mid card feud right now and I think a mid card feud with a Sheamus would really um, elevate him up to a championship level in my opinion but like I said yeah I think he should have a feud with Sheamus uh, then we get a and then Heyman tells Stephanie and Triple H that there's a plan C also to talk about Brock Lesnar vs Cena at SummerSlam which I hope Brock goes over at SummerSlam if he doesn't I'm going to be pissed off at this point so yeah uh, then we get to, and then Flair comes out, Renee interviews Flair, he talks about that Cena's going to win the Dirty World title, he's going to retain the Dirty World title on Sunday. Renee comes out, he shakes Flair's hand, then John Cena comes out, he's got also come out to also get a big face part from uh, off Ric Flair, and I hate when WWE give Rick, um, um, just throw John Cena out with legends, guys like Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, um, and Edge and guys like that, and tired of guys like Edge and Shawn Michaels and guys like Bret Hart and Rick Flair, guys who are talented and can get over as baby faces, they have to um, suck up to John Cena and, and constantly kiss Cena's ass 24-7, 7 days a week. I mean, they have to really put this guy over all the time, and I'm tired of WWE just shoving John Cena out there with legends all the time. Just Nobody cares about John Cena. He is not over. Daniel Bryan is fucking over with a yes chance. And so is fucking Roman Reigns. The future. Uh, so whatever. And then we get to the eighth match tonight, which was it was Roman Reigns and John Cena versus Kane, Orton and Rollins. Uh, this was a really good match here. Uh, we had uh, uh, Rollins doing his high flying moves and stuff. Then we had Roman hit a Superman punch on uh, Kane. Then he gets the super and then he gets the hot tag from Cena. Cena tries to go for AA, but Kane's too. Um, then he, Cena falls over. Then Reigns get, uh, ties himself back in. Reigns hits a. Um, Reigns gets attacked then by Kane and Orton. So that means um, Cena and Reigns win by DQ. Then after the match, Cena makes the save. Um, he um, AA is a bit wrong or whatever. Then um, C, um, uh, Reigns is trying to. Um, uh, he's trying to uh, spear Randy Orton, but Orton pushes um, Reigns into Cena, so he spears Cena. Then he, um, he spears Kane after. Then um, after that, he, he spears, and then after that, um, Randy Orton I think tries to RKO. Uh, I think it was Reigns, but Reigns hits him with a spear, and that's how we ended the show. I thought Raw this week was a decent show. I thought Raw was a decent show, but they didn't really build up the, the background pay view for me. They constantly was shoving the WWE Network down our throats, man. Like, they were literally doing that, and I didn't really like that at all. So, yeah, that's my WWE Raw review for the 14th, for the 17th, 2014. What did you guys think of the show? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for watching, guys. Right out.